Let's turn to Ocean State, where some women in Ifan Rolu in Orolu local government have staged a peaceful protest, calling on the state government to allow for due process in the selection of a new traditional ruler for the community. CBC News' Rafiu Hamid reports. This protest is as a result of government's failure to allow legal process to take its course in the selection of new traditional ruler for the community. The protesters say the 1979 declaration, as affirmed by a court of competent jurisdiction, should be used in the selection of a new monarch. They want the state government to abide by the court ruling and ensure the rightful ruling house produces the next Ulufa. Due to the strike, strike action that is going on in the courts and communal crisis that is going between Ifam and Hilobu, they use the corny way they used the corny way, they accepted the court cases, and they elected another Oba, which they are not supposed to be in the post. There are five ruling houses in Ifon Rulu, and the women say it's the turn of Odolu ruling house to produce the next occupant of this two. Out of the five ruling houses, only Odolu is left behind. Moron Folo has been enthroned, Oliyanyi has been enthroned, Orishato Ibo has been enthroned. Olumo Yero, who is the past Oba, has been enthroned. We are pleading to the state government to please yield to our crime, to please not align the cheater to cheat us. A dusk to dawn curfew is in force in Ifan as a result of land disputes between the community and Ilobo. The protesters believe the state government should act fast by allowing normal process that will produce a new traditional ruler for the community to take place to prevent avoidable crisis. Ifon Rulu has been without a traditional ruler since the 28th of April 2021, after the demise of Oba Abdul Maruf Magbagbeola. Rafiu Hamid, TVC News, Ifon Rulu, Washington State.